Hey, this is a quick clarification on division point, what it means, what the formula is, and how to use it, um, and kind of how it's connected to the Khan Academy video. So here's the idea. Imagine that you have two points. Um, often they're called A and B, but it doesn't matter, and a line connecting them. So when we talk about a division of a line segment, we mean as opposed to something specific like the midpoint, which finds the coordinates of the point, which is halfway between two endpoints. So the midpoint here would be exactly the coordinates, the point halfway between A and B. A division point is the same idea. It finds a point, but it can be any ratio of the way from A to B. It can be, uh, or rather any fraction as well. It could be like one half of the way or one tenth of the way or five thirteenths of the way, whatever. So it's somewhere along the way from A to B. That's how that works. So as an example, suppose we're talking about a ratio of two to one. That ratio notation means that there are two parts that you've traveled and one part that you haven't. It means that there's a total of these two numbers. Those form the total number of parts you're talking about. So two to one means that there are three parts total. One, two, three parts. I've traveled two of them. So two from a and then there's one part that I haven't traveled. So the parts aren't these little checks or dashes that I've made, but they're this segment, this segment, and this segment. There's three of them. So if I travel two of those segments, and then there's one segment that I don't travel, that leads me to that point. That's the point that's a ratio of two to one for me. It's two thirds of the way. One source of confusion, I think, might be this idea that that means the same thing as this ratio, one to two from B. Because if I leave B and head towards A, I would travel one part and there would be two parts not traveled. So a ratio of two to one from A means the same as a ratio of one to two from B. That's one important point. Now let's say we throw these points onto a grid, onto a graph. I'll give coordinates to those points. A has coordinates negative two, positive three. B has coordinates four and negative six. I can see from the graph, I can read off where these coordinates are. Um, so if I took a ruler, let's say, and measured out three equal parts, and then I traveled two of them, I could do it that way. But of course, that's not a super effective or necessarily efficient way to find those coordinates. So there's a formula for it, and this is what the formula looks like. So this formula, <clears throat> it's real quick, starts at x1. That's the x coordinate of your first point. It goes this fraction of the way, I'll explain that in a second, and then you take x2 minus x1, that's the x-coordinate of the second point minus the x-coordinate of the first point, and the same thing with the y's. It's broken up into an x component and a y component. That's because your answer is going to be a point. It's going to have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. In the Khan Academy video, they talk about the horizontal versus the vertical. And really what they're doing is they're working out this component. That's the horizontal component. They work out visually where that X coordinate is, and then they work out the same thing for the Y. So I'll talk a little bit about what this means. Suppose I'm traveling from A and I work that ratio of two to one. That means I go two thirds of the way. It means that this would be my X1, Y1, because it's my start point. I'm going from A. This is my X2, Y2. It's my end point. My A and B are these two parts of the ratio over here. So when I plug those in, my X1 is the X coordinate of my start point. And wherever there's an X1, I replace that. My X2 is my X coordinate of the second point. My Y1 is the Y coordinate of my first point. Y2 is the Y coordinate of my second point. And A and A plus B, well, A and B are two and one respectively. So that's two over two plus one. When I simplify these numbers, that two over two plus one, this A over A plus B, ends up being two thirds. That's because this ratio of two to one means three total parts and I travel two of them. It means that I'm taking two thirds, two thirds of this, which is the distance. It's how far we go side to side from A to B. B minus A is giving me this length. That's what they do in the Khan Academy video. They look at that length, that distance along the X coordinate. And going from negative two to plus four 
is the same as saying, well, what's four minus negative two? It means that I've traveled six units just horizontally. And traveling two thirds of that distance, two thirds of six, that means that I'm really going four units along the way. It means that going two thirds of the way from A to B means going two thirds of the way horizontally and also two thirds of the way vertically. That's how this formula works. Really, it's taking two thirds of the horizontal and two thirds of the vertical. And whatever that change is, it adds it on here to your original points. So that's how I end up with these coordinates, which work out to be two and negative three. That's the point there. And just to show you quickly, if I had done the same thing from B, it would have meant traveling a ratio of one to two. Because from B, I would have gone one third of the way. That means that this would be my x1, y1. This would be my x2, y2. My A and B would be respectively 1 and 2. And when I plug in all the numbers, though they're obviously different because I'm starting from here, once I simplify everything, I end up getting the same final answer. And that's because uh, traveling 2 thirds of the way from A or 1 third of the way from B mean the same. And that's the end.